Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mario Multiverse. In today's episode, we're going to be doing Expert Challenge Mode once again, uh, but this time we have a new feature. Uh, as every set amount of levels, there is a new bonus stage that will let you gain more lives, which I think is going to be really helpful for stuff like Hell Mode. I think it'll feel a lot more balanced with this. Uh, I've also heard your comments, and I know that you all want to see editor, so I'm happy to say that that video will be coming next week. I will show off the editor, and I will show what it has over editors like Mario Maker 2. But for now, let's go ahead, get into the challenge, and start our next hard mode run. As usual, the rules are the same. No skip, and we are trying to beat just 10 levels. Let's see what we got here. Level number one, Shell Mario in the Sky. All right, I'm into it. The name seems cool. Hurry up. I can hold crouch to enter my shell. Okay. Oh, yo. Springs with ice will bounce me up. Oh, okay. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm super into this. Wow, this is such a cool level idea. I think I've only seen this once in that other, like, subway surfers level we got last time. But this is a very cool level. I ran out of time. Okay, I wasn't moving fast enough at the beginning, but we do have timers in this level, so this should be okay. Okay, we are back, and we definitely have enough time this time. We have 15 seconds. Just got to make that jump perfect. Gained quite a bit of time there. Awesome. I don't think we're going to have any trouble with the rest of this level, but this level idea is really, really cool, and I'm a big fan of it. Yo, it's even got the X to tell you not to hit the on-off switch. That's super cool. Oh my goodness, that's not. All right, we're back. And that last step was really weird. It actually looks like you lose speed over time, which is not something I realized at first. But now that I do, I'm okay with that. I wonder if those spikes hurt you. I actually have no idea if they do or don't. Hmm. Anyway, hopefully I didn't have to kill that, uh... Koopa, I didn't really want to. Yo, we even got the bonus. We got the one up. Awesome. Let's go. Oh, that is. Hello? I don't understand what just happened there. Uh, hopefully, we're still in this. I don't know. I'm not very confident now. That was not very good, and it could have been a lot better. We are running out of time. What? Uh, I don't think I can save this at this point. I think it's over. <laughs> yeah, not only is it over, I didn't even hit that on off. What a shame. All right, we're back, and I think that this will go a lot better this time. I just need to make sure to be a little bit more careful, and I think we've got this. So jump over that, hit that, hit that. Perfect. Lots of time. Is that the end? That is the end of the level. Okay, we were able to get there in the end. We were able to get there in the end. I will 100% take that. Uh... That was a lot trickier than I thought it was going to be, but overall I thought that that stage was really, really cool and I'm glad I got to play it. Uh, we did lose four lives though, it was trickier than I expected. Hopefully we can make it through. I'm thinking that that new bonus game is gonna come in use. But up next we got Orange Sky. Wow, and I'm already digging the theme of this. This is awesome. Oop, hello. Yo, this song is a bop. And this theme is also a bop. Very into this. Wow, this is a nice level so far. Lots of fun. Okay, uh, a bomb. Hmm. Oh, that, I, I think I needed that. I think uh, that was my ride. Can I despawn it and then, can I respawn it? Let's, let's take a look. Let's see if this will respawn it. It does not. Uh, we're probably gonna die here. Never mind. We're good. Okay, I got pretty scared that I was actually gonna die there, but I'm glad that I did not. All right, gonna keep going here. So far, so good. Oop. <laughs> uh, I don't want anything to do with that piranha plant. Just gonna hop on over. Thank you very much. All right. And now we are dropping down. Probably gonna need to hold right there. Perfect. This level is great. All right, there's our checkpoint. Oh, yo, we get hammer suit. Let's go. I am become hammer bro, destroyer of worlds. You know, I was scared of you once, but not anymore. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, this power-up is so awesome. I love these extra power-ups too. Like having the hammer suit, having the shell from New Soup. Like it just, it's so cool. And I really, really appreciate seeing all of it. It's just, I love it. I really do. Uh, where am I? Should I, uh, I guess I just need to trust. I don't really like that, but here we go. It's a really good thing that I did, <laughs> that I was holding right. Yo, and there's the flag too. Perfect. Able to get through without losing any lives. Nice. That one was a really, really good level. I really like that one. Nice, simple level, very traditional. But uh, we had some extra stuff in the mix, like uh, the hammer bro suit. Very good work there. All right, we're gonna keep it going here. Next, Forest Woods. And you can already see if that question mark on the map uh, is the bonus game. All right, we got traditional short level here in a Forest Woods. Wait a Oh, yeah, okay, Forest Woods, uh, that is, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what, that's, that's fine. Uh, the, the forest is the woods, haha. -ha. Uh, we. All right, so far, so good. Oh, we got our boomerang bro. But can the boomerang beat, no, 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 the boomerang bro cannot beat the fire. Uh, they just burned to death, they're dead now. Um. They're not coming back. It's it's just, I it's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we do have a checkpoint though. That's always good. You always love to see that. And this level is really nice overall. Yo, we got a Yoshi. All right, it's automatically the best. That is just how that works. I don't make the rules. If you put a Yoshi in your level, it is automatically the best level. And that's just how it's gonna be. I don't make the rules, except I totally do make the rules. Anyway, GG, another short and sweet one there. I enjoyed that quite a bit. That was a good one. Okay, our next level, Retro Bros. Okay, I am excited. Oh, we can pick Mario or Luigi. Gonna pick Mario because I don't really want Luigi's like super high jump. I'm just not into that. Um, but already it looks like a very standard stage here. Okay, we're gonna keep it going. We do have the classic Mario Maker theme, but what we don't have in Mario Maker is this ice flower. Gotta love these ice flowers. I'm super impressed with like all of the uh, the new power-ups. I just, I love, I love the amount of potential that this game has. It, it amazes me so much and I absolutely love it. I, I am so happy that I get to play this game and I get to share it with all of you. Uh, it is seriously an incredible game and NeoArk has done an excellent job with it. Oop, we are in the underground now. Whoa, I've never seen this before. Wow, this theme is awesome. All right, I really, really like this theme. Oh, we could even get extra time if we wanted. Perfect, there's 50 extra seconds. All right, back out of the sewers. And now we're in the grasslands with a song that I've never heard before, but I, I like it. Uh, wait, do I have to time this? Because this is the goal. I think I need to time it. That was not the goal. <laughs> I just got so pranked. Okay, now we know. Now we know. I just, like, I didn't know what it was, but it looks like it's just for decoration, which is something we will need to keep in mind. Uh, now we know that that is, in fact, not the flagpole, and as such, I will not perish again to it. Ooh, we got the spring. Whee! <laughs> Love those high jumps. Do we go in these? We can. We can't go in the pipe. Yo, now we got the cloud area. Wow. This level just has so much in it. Oh. What? All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought that that cloud area was gonna be like a bonus area in SMW where if you just fall down after the cloud, you just return back to the main level. Uh, to avoid that again, I'm just gonna proceed through the level and not worry about it. All right, we got a fire flower and a checkpoint. What is coming up? Do we have a boss fight? Uh, it's a boom boom. It is a boom boom. Uh, and the boom boom is dead dead. Oop, uh, timer. Okay. How much more level do we have here if they're giving us a timer? Well, there's another checkpoint. Now we are in the desert. And Mario is on a very long adventure today. There's a lot going on here. 
I do appreciate the uh, the amount of themes though. Like this is actually uh, really really good for showing off sort of everything that this game has to offer. I'm I'm not saying that I'm not a fan of it. I just think it's a pretty long level. <laughs> Yo, there's the wind. We got the wind. I like it. Oh, I'm totally grabbing this. I think we got another boss fight coming, and it has been shown that fireballs are the best way to handle these bosses. It kills them faster, especially because they don't escape into their shells, so you don't have to wait for as long, which I really like. All right, there we go. We got another key into the key door, and there is the gold tape. Another one down. That one was a very, very long level, but I liked it a lot. Uh, very, very traditional. A lot of fun stuff in that one. All right, up next, we got the new bonus game. Let's see what we got here. Line up the pictures and get a prize. You only get one try. All right, I think we are gonna go for the star as per usual. Let's see how this works. So I'm gonna aim it just like when it's on the thing so that is a period. So it seems like it works exactly like the bonus game should. You press A whenever the picture is in the middle and we should be able to get a star here. Gorgeous. How many one-ups do we get? Three one-ups, wonderful. Very nice. We are looking good now. Now we got seven one-ups instead of just the four. Going into Wario's Skewer Castle. Looks like a Wario Land theme. Wow, this is very impressive. And this song is really good. Yo, I love those skewers though. It's like Wario fists. They're just very spiky. And uh, what is this, Aaron Ryan? <laughs> Ow. Uh, that did not save me. Okay, I thought there was a chance. All right, instead of uh, bothering waiting, we're just gonna run as fast as we can. That is my solution to the puzzle. The solution to the puzzle is not to play, of course. Uh, I am gonna wait this one out though. I think that's just the safer option. I can't make this jump, can I? No, I can't. So we actually gotta do this. Then we're just gonna wait in the wall here. Perfect, perfect. All right. These skewers are pretty scary. I think if uh, if I know what's best for me, I'm gonna probably just take a take a break and do a little bit of waiting. I know I usually don't like to wait in Mario levels, but the alternative is getting crushed by Wario's spiky hands because he's cheating in boxing like Aaron Ryan. So we're gonna just move on. Hmm. Oh, this one looks a little bit trickier, but I think we're okay. Uh, if this moves up fast enough, and it did. Another mushroom? We do get another mushroom. Wow, this is a really nice level, and I do think it's a really fair one too. I'm actually a big fan of this level. This is really, really cool. Now, I, if I wanted to go super fast, like without a doubt, the best way to approach this is just to zoom through it. That being said, I want to be careful here, especially because we are playing Endless and the best strat is to save as many lives as you can, uh, especially since one-ups don't give us many. Oop, that was very, very much a mistake, but at least we still have the mushroom. I'm really, really digging the Wario Land theme, though. I, I think that this is really cool. I've never played Wario Land before. I think I should probably do it some someday. Same with the Mario Land games. But, uh, like, this is just really, really cool. The potential... The potential that this game has is, like, through the roof. And I absolutely love it. I know that I gush over this game so much in my videos, but, like, the truth is... This... It, it's just everything I've ever wanted out of a Mario game. It, it feels like this is not something that could ever be realized if it wasn't an indie dev who did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just feels like Nintendo would never give you this much power. All right, we are, I think we're approaching the end here. At least it feels like it. This is a fairly long stage, but I think we're getting there. Just run through to avoid the fire bros. Oh my God, it's Wario. Goodbye, Wario. <laughs> I wasn't expecting giant Wario. Was I supposed to be anticipating giant Wario? I thought I was War What is going on in this? Who cares? We got through it six stages down. 
Just a few more to go. Retro adventure. Uh, gonna pick Mario again, just because Mario's standard jump is what I am used to. Okay, this looks very similar to the other retro level that we played in this session. But it's not by the same creator. We'll keep going here. I do like this quite a bit. Whoa, we get the shell! Oh, yes. This power-up is one of my favorite power-ups in any Mario game ever. So I'm glad that we get to the shell. <laughs> that hammer bro died from the top rope. Didn't even know it was about to hit him. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. All right, I am going to keep going with my shell power-up, though. I love this power-up so much. But I don't like the jump controls. Oh, we can go in this pipe, actually. Okay, sure, why not? Going into a pipe never hurt anybody, and now I think that we also avoid that jump that I foolishly died on last time and missed the checkpoint. Good job, Shoujo. All right, we're gonna keep going. Wow, we absolutely zoom with this one. But I turned around, and what a mistake that was. Doesn't matter, we could, we could do this again, and as long as I hold right, we should be okay. Gonna do some big jumps here. I am very afraid. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am very afraid. Uh, can I have a power up? I don't get a power up. I should have just tried to run through the hammer bro there. Uh, hello, Mr. Thwomp. Would you like to go away? Thanks. Appreciate it. Well, hi, Bigglesworth. I hope you're having a splendid old day. All right, gonna keep going. Ooh. And now we are in, like, volcano land? I don't know. I still don't know what it is, but it looks like there's volcanoes in the background. But this is a very, very cool theme. I'm a fan of it. Any of these pipes we can go into? Nope. All right. Ooh, there is a vine, though. We get a secret area? We do have a secret area. Maybe we get something special, like a power-up or a star? Mayhaps? A one-up. I mean... I appreciate it, but I appreciate it in the way that I appreciate, like, I don't know. My point is it doesn't help. <laughs> oh, we had the we had the sludge bro there, and there's another fire bro. I also really like the uh, the variation of the bros in this game. Like you can have you can have fire, you can have ice, you can have hammer. You can even have, like, the big versions of all of those, too, I believe. So, that's pretty cool, in my opinion. There's our 30 coin. I'm gonna keep it going here. Make sure to freeze some things. Oop. Fell in the water there. Uh, so, the good thing... So, the funny thing about water is that the setting that lets you jump high out of water is toggleable. So that basically means that you can have, uh, if you want the water to be death, you can have that. And if you don't, then it doesn't have to be. And I think that that's just really cool. It's, it's just another one of those small things that's just like the creativity can be really just so much. You can do really whatever you want. Um, so this is, yeah, this is not good. Uh, if I can get this to chase me though, then what I will try to do is ice him and then jump off of him. So let's see if I can make that happen. That should be good enough. Get any floats? Oh, I saved it. Yes! I'm very, I'm very pleased with myself for saving that one. Not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Oop. Goodbye. Piranha? Oh, is that the end? Nice, there it is. That one was a pretty long level, but it was a lot of fun. I liked it. Like I said, I've been really enjoying seeing the variations in these themes, and it's nice that you can have more than two themes because you're not limited to, to two different worlds, like one main world and one sub world. It's great. Uh, a very sweet place by Gamer Forever. All right. Yo, we got the new Soup DS theme. Check it out. Oh, this is an awesome theme. I love the purple. Oh, my creation. This place is a rain of thwomps. Well, I'm glad that they told me. Because now I know that when these come up, uh, it's probably going to kill me. I'm gonna keep running here. I really do like that they put new soup in this game, though. Like, the DS themes really do look like the DS ones, and I just think that that's really cool. This is gonna kill me. Oh, it didn't. I'm surprised. Wow, but that one almost did. Good, good. 
also like these Koopas. It really just seems like they're vibing. It, it really just does feel like they're vibing. Having a good day. I almost wasn't having a good day, though. I almost just perished. And we sh Oh, we shall keep it going. I think... Wow, these swamps are terrifying. Yo, we had an ice flower there. I probably should have taken that. And a spring. Nice. A double 50. I am going to take the spring with me. You never know when you could use a spring to cheese a level. That's true even in this game. <laughs> uh, the amount of joy that I feel. I just threw it away. It was supposed to be my companion spring. And then I dropped it into a pit by accident. You know, if GLaDOS was here, she would probably yell at me about how quickly I decided to throw it into the incinerator or whatever. Anyway. Well, that's in the past. Even though it was literally five seconds ago, it's still all in the past, and we're just gonna keep running through this level. I actually really do like this level, but alas, we are at the end. That was a nice level. I really like that one. Very fun. I enjoy seeing the uh, the new soup DS and new soup Wii themes too. I just think that they're pretty cool. Okay, we shall keep going. Level nine, Ox 12A Press, action speedrun pixel art. Uh, it is an auto run, and it is a speedrun. All right, looks like these coin guides are gonna tell us where we need to go. Do we get a clock? Well, we gotta not die first. So actually, just just kidding. Left. Open that we'll be able to get through this. Oh, the timer. Okay, so this we we really need to make this first jump. If we don't make this first jump, then there's no chance. And it's already over. It is already over. The only way I could save this is with a skip. So this run really is pretty much invalid because we skipped it, but um, I would like to see a few more levels anyway, so might as well just do it. Let's go ahead and get ourselves more lives here and uh, see, uh, see what we can do. I'm going to go for the flower this time because why not? I don't see why not. Nice. Nice. That should be the flower. The fire flower in this looks really cool. And there are two one-ups. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Piranha Falls. Let's take a look-see. All right, we are regular standard Mario here. And what does Toad have to say? Welcome, buddy. Path to falling Piranha Forest is ahead. Take this. Thank you for the one-up. It is not going to help me very much, but thank you for the one-up. It also feels like it's very windy. Uh, I'm pressing right and nothing is actually happening. So it looks like it doesn't want us to run. We actually are not permitted to run here. I think it wants us to rely on using a lot of twirls here, which is not what I was immediately expecting. Same thing there. Also, not what I was immediately expecting. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, so instead of, uh, instead of just being able to like get hit once, we actually have hearts in the top left corner. So we have multiple hits, even though we don't have a power up which I do think is going to be very, very useful. Uh, the other thing I'm noticing about this level is it actually does seem like the coins indicate where the piranhas are going to be. So that's fairly helpful. It is definitely throwing me off that we're... Oh. Oh, okay. Sure. Well... <laughs> Very anticlimactic way to end it, but I guess that that is gonna be it. Uh, well, thank you all very, very much for watching. Uh, we were able to get through a few levels. Uh, I'm kind of not happy about how I played there, but there's also not a lot that I could do about it. I'm sure that we will uh, be able to play better next week. Like I said before, next week I will show off the editor of this game, and I also think we're gonna try Hell Mode now that the new bonus game has come out. Uh, I think that that'll make it a lot more fun, so... Uh, stay tuned for more Mario Multiverse content. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see in the comments below. Uh, thank you for your continued support. It truly means the world to me. And as always, I hope that you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care, my friends. Stay awesome.